nothing is sustainable. It's the basic, I mean, I might be wrong, I might be completely wrong, but from a Buddhist point of view, the, the basic law of the universe is that everything is in constant change. That truth is the only unchanging thing, which is a paradox in itself. But, uh, so if the only unchanging thing is constant change, of course, uh, there can be nothing like sustainability in the long term. So the idea, if you want to put it, and this is a very basic Buddhist teaching of impermanence. Everything that is born dies eventually. Now some people think that this is a very pessimistic outlook on life, but from a Buddhist point of view it's the opposite. It's a very optimistic viewpoint, or at least realistic, an optimistic thing. Because think about it, it means that this too will pass. Soon there will be a coffee break. Everything is always changing. Uh, this means that, so, so the Buddha, when he was talking about this, he said that generally things that are born or come into being in any kind of way go through a cycle. They are born, they grow, they decline, and they die. And after that death is rebirth. So from a Buddhist point of view, we never speak, I, I don't, I don't want to speak about sustainable. I, I want to speak about rebirth. Uh, so this is the cycle of birth and death, and it's universal. Birth, growth, decay, death, rebirth. What is uh, sustainable is the, in this is uh, what Buddhists call karma. Karma means that what we do now will affect the next rebirth. This, uh, I'm not talking about individuals now necessarily, I'm talking about things like societies, civilizations, empires. The Roman Empire died, but it was reborn as medieval Europe or other empires. The point of this is that what we do now um, even though the world is going to hell, it might very well be at least a Western civilization, uh, even though we are going down, it really matters what we do while we are going down. Because there will be rebirth. Something else will come instead. No. Uh, 